Hi guys, welcome back to Island Girl Gardening and Up. What you are looking at today is a harvest that we took out of our garden. Now typically, the end of October, we are not harvesting any of this. We got our bitter melon, we got some eggplant, got a whole basket of eggplant, we have green tomatoes but I'm gonna show you the vines in just a minute we got some red ones in there too and we have a whole basket of peppers we got hot and regular in there too so typically like I was saying we're not harvesting at this time of the year we are at the end of October and typically our beds are um, empty and unless we've planted something like some kale or something like that don't mind my hair I've been out here I've been out here working um, if we put some kale in or um, you know some type of winter crop typically the beds are empty and we're just like mulching them over hold on there we go we got more hot peppers say hi mr. up I mess her up. <laughs> so, today is the 28th of October, and it is a beautiful day. Our degrees is at 80 um, degrees, which is not typical for this time of year for us, but hence us being able to harvest. But I want to show you something else. We do have a couple little pieces of kale in there. But this is the amazing spectacle of tomato plants that we still have growing and producing. We got bulb, bulb uh, we got flowers, I mean, we have tomatoes still. There's still quite a few tomatoes in here. I just took some of the bigger ones out and I'll just let the ones that are a little smaller get a little bigger. I'm just gonna wait until maybe it just dies back. I don't think we'll pull them this year um, in my mind, but Mr. Up may have other thoughts, but I mean, we still are getting tomatoes. So those green tomatoes, I'll set some out and let them turn and then others I can um, seal up and put in the refrigerator. Um, and then over here is the bitter melon. We got a new eggplant over here that I don't even think we planted here, but it's got, it's got a flower on it, so it may do something. I don't know. Then back here, we have, this is where we got the eggplant from. As you can see, it's still, it's still, it's still pretty viable. We even have a little tomato plant there. I thought that one had died, but it looks like it has rejuvenated. And these are the pear drop tomatoes that we had earlier in the summer. So it has uh, miraculously come back. And as you see, it's got fruit on it. It's got tomatoes on it and a bunch of green leaves and also some flowers, some buds. Eggplant, we got white and we got the purple. And actually, it looks like there's another little one coming here. Here it is. I love these. I lost one back there. I think it got a little, when it was raining a lot, I think that one got, uh, got caught in that rain and it cracked it. There's another one coming there. So we still have produce coming from our garden. The Lord has truly blessed and he has multiplied. He has blessed our efforts and we will still have some produce coming out. Now here's our peppers. Um, I got my Thai peppers here. So we got a bunch that hasn't turned just yet. And then I had my Kung Pao here, which we've harvested from these couple of plants like all summer up until now, we're still harvesting from them. 
and then those were our just regular peppers they're looking a little wilty now but who knows who knows how all this is going to go down because this is very unusual for this time of year so i just wanted to give you a little look here into the garden i'm gonna get the rest of these uh pear tomatoes because these are actually really good and i like these particular tomatoes yeah look at that oh yeah i love these these are good little snack see got a whole got a handful of them but yeah that's how we are rolling in zone 8a today so to talk about another part of our garden the hibiscus patch as you can see the plants are huge you can see <laughs> How incredibly tall they've gotten this year but they are very slow this year they're just now really starting to get their calluses you can see they are really tiny now by this time last year I believe we had harvested our hibiscus but you can see if you can see the little little buds in there they're a little bigger on the other side, but they're just now starting to come in. So I don't know what our hibiscus is going to do this year, but as you can see, the forest has gotten bigger. I've loved watching them grow, but of course, you know, ooh, we want to be able to harvest them too and have our hibiscus our hibiscus tea which my husband makes the absolute best hibiscus tea oh Ooh. all righty there is our awari orange we probably could pick all of those off there but you can see how little she is and all the fruit she has on her we've already taken off of it several times but we probably can take some more for that. Well, we can take definitely take some more for that. But back to the hibiscus forest over here. I mean, you can see how big they've gotten. I'm 5'4". I'm not saying that I'm really tall, but you can see they're like six foot at least, if not taller than that. But yeah, I'll go all the way around. And if you saw any earlier videos of the hibiscus, you remember what they started as. A beautiful patch. But no hibiscus just yet. Like I said, over on this side, they're a little bigger. Oop, I don't want to lose any of my tomatoes. They're a little bigger on this side. Just, I mean, it's like a little. Let's see. You can see one right there. And they're coming in like they normally would, you know, in clumps. We got them right here. See, they're a little bigger on this side. You can see some. Just a little better on this side. So, I guess we'll see what happens with this over the upcoming weeks. My husband was just going to take it down take them down I was like ah let's wait it out and see what happens it's very slow and you have to be very patient sometimes sometimes well all time at all times things are on their own growing season and the Lord is directing all of it so we're not rushing the Lord by no means if he said they're gonna grow a little slow this year they're gonna grow a little slow this year now this elderberry tree looks like it's got some new growth on it where the other ones are kind of dying back. This one's looking a little greener. And it's got some new 
New leaves coming in. New leaves coming in. Okay. Just walking through. Everything is kind of starting to... Well, we got some buds on this. This is one of our Arona berries. Let's see, we have any buds on this one. Yep, got some buds on that one too. This is the, our other elderberry. And our new addition to the garden, a pawpaw. There's another one that's in the back. I'll show you that in a little bit. And yeah, the elderberry. Elderberry. I have a spider web on me. I'll probably have a spider crawling on me later. And our apple tree. Oh, oh, pretty. I got flowers. Pretty flowers. It's my fennel. And this is my balloon milkweed. Those pods that you see on there, I'm going to harvest them. I'm going to leave some behind also so that they can repollinate this area here so that um, I can have my balloon milkweed. But this is where my monarchs were this year. I think I showed a short little video of them um, this year. But I got two of those. And as you can see, I got plenty of pods to harvest and my fennel oh it looks like we have a little visitor hey we have a caterpillar hopefully he'll be okay but my fennel is starting to grow back I had cut it back but it's growing back already And yeah, so that's just the walk through the garden. I'm going to show you the other pawpaw tree. I'm going to try not to walk back through the spider web. I think I probably already took it all the way down, though. This is our raspberry. I haven't gotten any fruit just yet. Not yet. But I think I see some buds over here. Right there. But it's doing well. Raspberry, yep. Got some buds over there, too. And my other pawpaw tree is right here. <laughs> Doesn't look like much right now. The leaves have fallen off of it, but that's my other pawpaw tree. So I'm be excited for that for next year to see how that does. But that was just a little walk through the garden today just to see what was going on. It's always exciting and new. You never know what's gonna happen. Just like the garden still producing tomatoes. Oh. All right. That's about it for today. And of course, there's always citrus that's around and citrus trees and propagating and pineapples and things of that nature. Let's see. I think we have one more pineapple in here. Yep, we do. Right there, got one pineapple left. And back there you can see my papaya tree is doing so good. I'm gonna have to put that in a bigger pot. My coffee tree, citrus, bird of paradise, and then all the pineapple. Got a geranium in there too. And then we got all the citrus on this side. So we got we got a few things going on. We got some pineapple tops there. Pineapple top, pineapple, pineapple, <laughs> ginger, <laughs> pineapple. It's got something else growing around it. <laughs> a little weed or clover or I'm not sure what that is, but you can see the little pineapple down in there. I got sunflower seeds that I need to harvest and my we have another visitor guys can you see can you see the grasshopper oh we have visitors today awesome got a grasshopper too 
I was going to talk about my um, dragon fruit, which is moved back over here because we're going to close this particular greenhouse up and keep it hot over the winter months. I don't know that we're going to use our other greenhouse other than um, using it for seedlings once we get our trays started with our seeds for our next year, which we won't do until uh, January. Between January and February, we'll get that started and we'll probably use the greenhouse, the regular greenhouse, that one. We're going to use her for starting our seedlings. So. Yeah, that's about it. That's about all that's going on. Let me see. I think over here the kumquat. We have some kumquat. I think this is kum kumquat tree over here. Yep, we got kumquats coming. So this is citrus season. And then these are lemons. We got some lemons on this tree over here. So we still got some things going on. Still got some things going on. Uh, let's see. I guess that's about it for today. Yeah, that'll be about it for today. I guess I'll come back and make another video. Maybe in a couple weeks we'll see where the tomato plants are. Um, it's supposed to be getting a little cooler next week. So let's see what happens next week or over the next couple of weeks with our tomato plants. Yeah, I know I'm sweating, but that's okay. Sweat's good. Um, so... Thank you guys, all our new subscribers, for all your comments, for all your love, for all your support. We do appreciate it. We love you guys and keep growing, keep gardening. Um, yeah, that's about it. That is about it. I am going to go inside now so that I can start sorting through our produce and um, yeah, getting some things done. All right, enjoy the rest of your weekend. And I will see you next time. Stay blessed.